Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. On this Saturday's of course series, we're exploring Grand Marnier and their cuvee, Louis Alexander. Mouthful. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Matt, why don't you tell us about this pretty bottle? It is a beautiful, sexy bottle in the shape of a pot still, and they actually do have the patent copyright and all that fun stuff on this. Grand Marnier cuvee. Louis Alexander, beautiful thing here from France. It is a common, it is 40%. It is a VSOP cognac and orange liqueur aged in Troncaeus and limousine oak in Borg Charente. However the hell you say that, I don't know. Also, once again, I don't care. <laughs> it was created in the, in the homage to the founder of Louis Alexander Marnier L'Apostole. It is 82% VSOP cognac and 18% bitter orange liqueur. So significant uh, difference between the regular Grand Marais is only 40, 51% of the cognac and 49% of the orange liqueur. So big jump. All right. And this one does go up to, I think it's $70. So it's significantly more expensive than regular uh, Grand Marnier. This is a VSOP though. Yeah. It's, a, it's also VSOP. Yeah. So significantly you higher. Your Did I pour yours? Yes. Hmm. He's you were like, like, it's a liqueur. Like, I don't want to drink it. <laughs> he's like, I don't have to drink it. I don't have to drink it. It's awesome. I'm going to lie. Sweet. It's cool. Yeah, that, that orange comes right on out the glass. It Whoa. smells like orange and oily grapes with saffron and lemon. It really does. And the saffron note is incredible. It That's is. A great <sighs> pickup. It's it's a saffron rice. A little bit of, yeah, lemon. Lemon peel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even orange lemon. peel too. Like the like if an express and orange peel for like an old fashioned. Yeah. Uh, even candied oranges, too, like those uh, little orange wedges. Well, mm-hmm. to me, it's more like a tangelo type of orange instead of mm. like a full on orange. Okay. Yes. A little bit sweeter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is funny, considering it's a bitter liqueur they mix this with. Yeah. But you can smell that bitter, but almost like bitter, like an orange bitter. Yeah. Kind of yeah. On the back end of it. It's there. Yeah, but it's not overpowering. No, but you also definitely smell the sugar for sure. Oh yeah, it does smell sweet, but it really, it to me, it smells more a refined sweet than it does like sugary sweet. Agree. I'm getting more grape sweetness, more more uh, orange juice, more grape juice kind of sweetness. Yeah. Now granted, yeah. those are very sugar added too, but like. I don't know. It's just heading more down those territories. Well, and the grape for the grape to me is more like a green grape, which is that tanginess of it. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. All right, I'm gonna try this. All right. Mm. It's sweet. Mm-hmm. It's clingy sweet and delicious. Mm-hmm. Oily. Um, the mm. the orange Ooh. isn't overpowering in it. It's not. But it's still there and prevalent. Ooh. It's a very nice mix of them both. The bitter, the bitter at the mm-hmm. end. That's it's nice. not, but it's not overly bitter because I'm not a big no, fan. no, no. It's just at the end, it's just and it makes it, it makes it to where all of that sweetness that I was experiencing on the palate kind of fades because of that little twang of bitter that kind of subsides mm-hmm. and hits you right at the end of the finish. Let me try this in an old fashioned. Oh, well, yes. That'd be, a, that'd be an expensive addition to the old fashioned. Yeah. But... I'm just hey, saying, but, I don't drink them often. Ooh. People make with Louis Try all the time. You know, you can, only, you can try that too while you're at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's got a nice uh, saffron, coriander, like a frankincense, like a, like a yeah. tea as well to it with that, like a wet pine tree almost on the finish. It's like a paper pulp. It's just, it's, the sweetness is really cut back on the palate from the nose. Really is. It's not nearly as sweet as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> for, you, for me, the, the sweetness is absolutely present on the palate, but it is sub, it is it is kind of kicked to the side at the very end with that bitter. Yes. Yeah, the initial one is super sweet, and then the initial blush, though, for me is is still very, very sweet and very, very you know, upfront and in your face. But I like, I it. like it. I don't. I don't dis. I don't. I don't dislike it. This is really, really good, Grand Marnier. This is probably my favorite Grand Marnier I've ever had. Yeah, I found this at some random. I think it was it was a liquor outpost like maybe two, three years ago. They're like, hey, we got this special one. You ever heard of? I was like, nope. Let's find out if it's any good. It was delicious. We all enjoyed it. Everybody behind the counter enjoyed it. So it's good stuff. I've never seen a bottle since. Um, the only time I've ever seen this bottle, but I'm glad I bought it because it is really good. 
Heck yeah. Yeah. So it's thick, it's oily, it's viscous. Yeah. Uh, if that's your thing, man, this is something special. Right after dinner yeah. drink. Um, I think maybe even a little chill, maybe a cube would be really nice. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Good stuff. And, and at 40%, it's going to stand up for a while. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. yeah. All right. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. And be sure to check us out live on Monday nights. And until next time, keep on crusading for the liquids in your glass. Cheers. Cheers.